Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come pick back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Odin! Raggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Hey, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. 
gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone.
King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right, until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. If he attacked Kjotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Ravens return. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good dis A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
for? Looking rough you are. Welcome. Goodman, it appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was little planned at Alvesness. But if I come across any, it will be yours. is growing fast. Fast, but not big. A little rabbit, that one. Small and quick beats big and slow. I'll start taking it on rates soon. Would you please? It would give me a break. Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... I bet. 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce, and then a figure, a grey beard in a cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly 
and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sing it! This was not for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. 
gods. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken. This is their message. No! This is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ivan, wake up, or you will be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. 
If we die, everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. What? <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label a deserter. Go.
if you come looking for bears. There are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with a running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. I must wait for the ideal time to fight such a warrior of your class, Drenga. Have patience. I will wait.
be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here some... I think there are some spots you missed. What are these things for? My cold the finds it when some eat my... Care to join them? It must sound to your somewhere. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow. Eivor, can you teach me? Should we? Be happy to.
Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. Hello, I... Look who it is. Sing a... Ah, a... Hey. <laughs> the only me... Beer mock... me riding po... It is all usual that I so tune. Another lesson. A quick flight here, right now. Hey. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll do nothing of your skull. Ah, a response. I called you stupid. Turned it around. Writing about wit. You matched mine. We think of too many perfect retorts. Use the watches the me last one. Then and conquer with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. Look clearly forward to you fair. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a... Your flighting's astounding, your words. You fine acts and you good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Is 
there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. This land Come will never prosper. Clan battles clan. Toby. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. Standing. Plant your feet in the ground, the shoulders. Then, as you draw the arrow back, look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing it, and breathe out, then release. Tattoo for you, something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. The scar is. Oh, I did not mean. In case I do for you. Eyes won't roll themselves. Let's do this then. Get into the point. A stand win.
would have been anyone's game. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. Set the board, we go again. Lucky. Another round. Another time, perhaps. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would buy longer. Understood. I will come. Signed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
Is there something else? See you later, Swain. Sure. I could, but I don't want every eye both bring away the game. Bring me dear Achilles. Soon. Ava Wolfist. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Fun of a fur. Is that your ex? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I fought this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Sure. The fates have willed it so. But in future, grown metal ingots, I can watch them from empty air. And how are you holding? Is good. The grids are strong, but I knew. My lady, if you heard. Sorry to hear it. You were together long? I'm weak. Five weeks. Don't will I never kneel. Valkyries walk the ones did, Gunnar. Maybe set your side lower. Lower? And look at my wares, my man to stand and define anything. That's all for now. Return in time. <laughs> Must be finished. Is best. So the talk loaded. It should be safe to enter. We face the thunder. Speak with the king now. Uh, next to you, Bjorn. I will take this to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I... Good. May the winds... Eivor! Come forward, and in plain words, willfully disobeys. Do you? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embrace you against your enemy and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his. You asked by an enemy with warriors vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Thing until the army's outbury is guaranteed. Do we have any big of your excuse to do nothing? blinds you to sin play day to force with clans to the north very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts only then will you understand 
Is that all? I lost with you as my all. Did I imagine subject from the child of Varys? Your father was man, just and loyal to me. He died brave, might live. Coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's white, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. There is chase these shadows from your thoughts. Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! We're back, Wolf Kist. Do you need anything else? I need for any time. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. What have you been worrying with? Aren't oh, you salt cured, Viking? A stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just a start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham, we met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. Our brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. We are standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kjotve's They must have cut the tail short. I killed my and the and brother. Nothing to sludge Kjotve from our lands. Greece. I know. Falchion acts too little. Today, I promise you, by the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father! Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread, and no more beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me bring to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well, inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we... Bedacked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. 
And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with me. My friend, my eyes for Rengir. So take what you desire from my horn. This is only a taste of things to come. Oh, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have some for you. <laughs> Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, ending rid of Kjotve by now? You always said we needed more warriors to fight. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one f time. Have you no plan to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do. But it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. I must have your will. If you order it, my king, it's until the end. Eivor, you made a visit to Volker. I did. And? It is not something I can speak of. Or wish. Stand. Your bed will be warm tonight, with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It feeling. But with less stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? But it has been so long he's secret to me. Winters we are he has been away for two. Not re that one. <laughs> to bed too. We'll be with f need breath. Ah, uh, we should have been lucky. <laughs> Python, is it? Yes? I am. This ruckus does not overwhelm. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The from your fire, the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. Must be where you live. Changes from week. But always my mentor, Basim. Your men cost. As the world is. Let us leave it at that. I understand. You hope to stay for the rest of the night. Keep clear of tech. <laughs> Thank you. Morning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> you are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I f Sigurd spoke of you on our journey. Called you his A celebrate. I am on you. Why? You come to He on in Constant months ago to rest and he told me. But I knew other men with gleam like his are all to something more. To rape the Hajjabia. That's right. Bore you with of her meeting. But I liked your brother. There was something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friend had suddenly surfaced. Joy your evil. <laughs> I thought long and hard a gift worthy of you. Yes, my brother. First. Last night in four two winters, it must with me soaked and wall eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. Sail with these. Yes, you are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. <laughs> you would put the game. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. Missed it. We met Bas. I read tales of our homeland. And it was that I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to you. Saxon were my shepherds through much of their homeland. Basid Caliphate. 
They are not joined by blood, but by an idea. Brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with many of hidden sea for which I am grateful. I one of these to you. Finest warrior I know. Kind of smith. Weapon like this. It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor protest. An orthodox or wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to the... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. <clears throat> Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. <laughs> a decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Exactly, just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. A perfect strike. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. That's it. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Hytham. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and write as if it were. They don't mean so much about the world. All of which share with you when the time I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? You mean to join this brotherhood? 
Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our man. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. You flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors!
Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. See you later, Swain. Sure. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Warm food! What's the problem?
With each day we wait, Kjotve grows stronger. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nordfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not oh, return in time you. to see Kurtve's end. Sorry, afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nuktfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate for both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Let's have a song. Oh! <sighs> 
Hail Raventlan! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Flord, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Thank you. 